Okay, I went ahead and entered that equation, which is only allowable because I have defined those variable names, kind of like old school programming, maybe even new school programming. But um, So I had to define VF and VI, and I even had to define the lowercase a and the lowercase t, because by default in this world of the non-CAS, this home, you only have access to capital letter variable names, at least as far as I understand. So let's say we want to go in there. I've already explained how that would work, but there's the equation. It's in there now. And if we leave, hit escape, we could go over into our physics solver, which is actually very similar. Go into this geometry solver. We could go over into the new one we created right here. And there's our equation. If we wanted to use it, like I showed you earlier, you would just go you, uh, check only the one you want to evaluate, and then you go into number, and then you could put in values and say, well, my I know my final velocity was 150 meters per second. Our acceleration was 12.5, and we were accelerating for 20 seconds, and we want to know what our initial velocity would have had to have been, and we solved it. Negative 100. Interesting. It's a problem with winging it. So let's make it more realistic. 0.5 seconds. Then what would our initial velocity be? 143.75. There you have it.